and I'm going to demonstrate using the car. Um, if you push forward with both hands at the same time, I'll go forward. And uh, vice versa with going backwards. If you press just the left one, the car will just go um, to the left. So this is great if you want to encourage a child to use um, both hands at the same time. And then you can also adapt this and use only one control. And this can be used to train an individual um, who is preparing to use a power wheelchair. All right, the first part that we'll do is make a hole to insert these controls into. Um, so we use a ruler to measure um, the middle distance for two X's and we'll be using a drill press to drill a hole about the circumference of the joystick. Right, the next part will be to drill these holes. Make sure you wear safety goggles when you use the drill press. I made a guiding hole with this drill bit and then I used this drill bit to guide down. Um, the plastic is um, very easy to slip so make sure you hold on to it securely. Uh, and then you'll use sandpaper to sand any rough spots around the hole. So now we're going to take this C-clamp off in order to put it inside of this hole. So what you want to do is you want to push on this side and then push in the opposite direction. <laughs> After taking the C-clamp off, you'll be able to disassemble it. Next, we're going to mark the holes for the um, screws of this piece. So what you want to do is you're going to put it on this part, open it up, make sure it's centered, and then you're going to mark one of the holes to get started. So now we're going to put the screw in in order to mark the other holes. Okay, now I'm going to drill the rest of the holes. We just poke it through there and then, and then we clip off the What the switches are in these things, when you're actually activating these, you're just bending that little flat piece back and forth, or the little lever you see move. And what that does is pushes one side or the other side of the metal right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and those are the switches. And actually, these are the ones that will break down over time, too, because you're always bending and flexing that metal. But just like a switch, you know, here's the metal connecting. There's a common, in fact you can see this metal here is all the way through the same piece of metal and that's forward, same piece of metal and that's backwards with the same piece of metal. So basically you have these little wires here that make the contact of the switch. Mm -hmm. So basically if you're going to put one wire, connect one wire to say either here or here because it's the same thing and then where these other switches actually solder another wire to where the switch is at, these right here, if those two wires are connected together the car goes ahead, or the same thing, the car goes back. So this would be like left forward, left, left back. Backward. Yep. Okay. Exactly. And then these are the commons, either one of those. Yep. And the unique thing, if you follow this common around, see how this common, this is the same as this. And this, this light green is written nothing more than just a um, paint on top of flat metal, so to speak. If I scratch the paint off, you can see there's metal underneath. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. But if you follow this around, you can see this, of course, is soldered right to that. But then if you follow this little line all the way around, you'll see that this side is also connected to it. So not only is it common to that to this, but both of this switch and this switch, this metal here, are all in the same line. That's the common. Mm -hmm. In fact, you can see here that that common is actually on the negative part of the battery right here. Okay. So, meaning if you take the negative part of the battery and touch it to either the front and back, front and back, here's the other one, the car goes that direction. So you're going to need you're going to need one wire for the negative part and a separate wire for each of the other switches here. So you have five. Yep, five wires. So when you adapt this for the negative, when you do the common wire here, the negative wire, that wire is going to be common with every common of your switches you use here. So mm -hmm. you have the same common wire going here to here to here to here all the way back to the black wire there. Okay? All right. Okay, so first you need to cut five wires about 12 inches in length, all different colors, and then you're gonna strip them about a quarter of an inch. Next, you need to figure out, you look at this, and you, this is left front, left rear, right front, right reverse. So once you figure out this is left front, you can turn over the circuit board and follow it to these staples. And then the same with left reverse, you'll find these staples that correspond with this switch. The other thing you need to attach a wire to, so you'll attach a wire to left front, left reverse, right front, and right reverse. You'll also need to attach a wire to the ground, which you can find from this, you can see connects to this, following the green, you can follow it over to the other side and find this and this. So you can attach the ground to any of those points. We have attached our ground to here because it is the easiest to access. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to solder one of the wires onto the circuit board. Um, first pre-solder the exposed wire. And then take pliers and bend the wire so you make a small hook. And add a little bit more solder. And we'll be putting it onto one of these wires right here. It doesn't matter which one. And since there's already solder on the wire, and solder on the circuit board, there's no need to add more solder. Uh, and then I write on a piece of tape that this is for the right reverse. So we don't get them confused later. And this is what the circuit board looks like with all five wires attached. Okay, so now we're going to test our connections to make sure that they work. So you're going to find your common wire and touch it to any of the other wires. We're going to start with the left front. So all you have to do is touch the exposed ends together and then watch that the car moves. Okay, next we're going to determine left front, left reverse for this side. So for left front, you'll turn it over and see that it pushed up here. So you're going to mark this left front, left reverse, right front, right reverse. And then since you already have your wires marked as left front, you can then match them up and we're going to solder this onto prongs. 
for each of the different switches. Okay, so when attaching the wires to this part, what you want to do is look closely on each switch and make sure you're attaching the common, it will say COM, and then attaching your left front to the part that says NO, meaning always open. So now all of the wires are connected from the circuit board um, to the two joysticks. I also added a common wire um, from where it says COMM here to right here, as well as one from here to here, and one from here to here. Um, then your circuit board is ready to go and you can um, take off the antenna and then cut a multi-strand wire that's three times the length of the antenna and solder it directly to where it says ANT for antenna right here. If your car is working inconsistently, um, the antenna may be interfering with these other wires, so you can use electric tape to tape up these wires. You can then close the um, case. Then you can use wire cutters to cut an opening in the um, controller and close this up. You can add a little bit of Velcro to each side to keep this secure. And your car is now complete. So you'll just close this up. And you can move forward and backwards by using both arms at the same time.